Okay, today we are doing a stent dressing. This is when you have sutures that are on one side and you can put, you leave sutures on one side and then you put gauze in the middle. So I'm going to put suture on this side. I'll leave it kind of long. I have this suture. I'm going to put a suture on right here. Banana has a, um, a big, nice hole in its belly, and I'm going to cover it. I'm going to stuff it with gauze. Okay. So now I have two sutures on one side. I'm going to do one more. So I have a total of three sutures. I'm going to try to make all the sutures even. So when it comes down to tying them, one more. Okay, cut that. So I have three sutures on this side. Now I will put three sutures right across. One across and then the other. And this is called a strent, a stent dressing. And I have my gauze nice and wet. One right across from the other. Two. Well, I've never really seen one of these, so this is all new to me. One.
go. Put the needle in the needle mat. Okay, I have one, two, three sutures on this side. One, two, three sutures on the other side. So I have my nice wet gauze. We're going to pretend it's a ray tack. Really, it's kind of, it's fluff. But So I'm going to tie the middle one first. Two, three. I'm going to tie this top one or the bottom one. Let's do the bottom one. One. And one more. Let's get this one out of the way. Now this would be used when there's complicated issues like say the neck, abdominal that won't close, the head. Okay, I'm going to leave them all the same length. Eventually, this will dry up, but for now, my banana is nice and moist. I think this is the end of my videos, so this class is extremely interesting, and thanks for returning all my emails and all my crazy questions, and I guess I'll see you next semester. This is Twyla. Bye.